Hey y'all, we are starting out this video with a Walmart pickup order. Everyone was sleeping in the house, so I didn't want to be noisy and talk and do this grocery haul, but we got some paper towels, some toilet paper, some oranges, some bananas, and I always get this frozen ground beef. I was going to be making some more country style ribs because we had some a few nights before and they were so good. I got a bell pepper for some spaghetti. I needed some more um, butter and I got the light kind. Kehlani loves these cinnamon toast egos, so I got her some more and then I had to get some syrup to go along with them. Baby really loves his pickles, so I picked him up three jars of them and the girls really enjoy them too. And then these pineapples, you guys, I cannot stress enough how good they are. So I picked up about six cans of them and then we got some more Dawn dish soap. I picked up some Cran mango juice, some oat milk, and some almond mil milk for my coffees. We got some grapefruit juice, some banana, um, some bananas, some milk, and then I needed some more tongue cleaners, some toothpicks mashed potatoes some jasmine rice and this sensodyne toothpaste is so good the girls needed some more floss and then i love this chapstick you guys it is so good that's like the og of chapsticks right there and then i ended up getting these other toothpicks as well and then the last thing is some myel leave-in conditioner they didn't have this in the last pickup order and they finally had it hope you guys enjoyed later that day is when we got down to business you guys this video is going to be filled with tons of cleaning motivation some laundry motivation i needed to go ahead and clean out the refrigerator we definitely had a vacuum and then we had a mop too because what's a clean house when you don't do that that's like the icing on top of the cake when you get to finish with some mopping because your house just smells so good but this is the your weekly mommy coming in well yours not yours but the girls weekly mommy is coming in i'm doing a deep clean i'm getting rid of stuff and i'm gathering all this laundry so it can be washed and we're doing a big deep clean and declutter in here on this day it was definitely time you guys there was broken toys broken stuff i had found stuffed animals that had marker all over them that needed to just be thrown away and just tons of miscellaneous toys that i was tired of seeing and it was time to get rid of i do this new thing where at the end of the night when it's time to clean up i'll uh, sweep everything in the middle of the floor and i tell the girls i said okay we'll pick up what you want and then what you don't want mommy's throwing away so they already know they need to keep up with their stuff that's like the system that we've been doing and it's just been working out for us but you see me in the beginning just go ahead and sweep everything in the middle of the floor and i ended up forgetting stuff that was under their bed which you'll see later in the video so i had kaylani like reach under there and get it because i could not reach it with the broom and everything was just stuck so she crawled under there and got everything from under there but here i'm just going to go through and get rid of what i'm going to get rid of and then decide what i'm going to keep hey, hard to get through. i'm not gonna say i'm loving you too i'm not gonna stay gotta be alone let's talk meet me at the avenue This is such a good system that I have going on. I come in here once a week, like I said, and do a good deep clean and declutter a lot of toys. Recently, I've been throwing away more and more toys and it makes the cleanup process a lot easier at the end of the end of the night. And just coming up with a better system really just helps the overall process when it comes to cleaning and the girls cleaning. So I try to keep their big toys in these unicorn um, little hamper bins. I think they really are hampers to be honest with you but I just use them for toy bins and then um in their toy containers I just make sure that I put their smaller toys I got this organizer from Walmart for anyone that is curious it doesn't matter what you're gonna say. now that their toys were taken care of and I could actually see the bottom of the floor and it wasn't filled with toys and just junk honestly i'm gonna go ahead and take their clothes off of their dresser and put them away where they're supposed to go i did a bad job of picking out their outfits for the week on that past week so that's why there was tons of clothes on top of their dresser so i'm just gonna get them put away i don't need nobody else but me 
So I love Kinsley going over at her grandmama's and everything. Don't get me wrong, but she always comes back with a bag full of stuff. And I'm like, do we really need more stuff? Here is a basket or a bucket that I used for the girls' Valentine's Day stuff. It was time to go because now it was just going to get ripped up and crushed on the floor somewhere. So let me just go ahead and get rid of it now. There's her book bag that I had to unpack from grandmom's house. I believe I did this. I don't know what day I did this cleaning, but... That means them clothes were probably sitting in there for over a week. So one of those things, the girls were out of school for a whole week for winter break. So this upcoming Monday was time for them to go ahead and go back to school. So I'm going to get everything ready so our week can run very smoothly. After I make the girls bed, I'm going to go ahead and pick out the girls outfits for the week. just got done washing the girls bedding not long ago so I'm not going to wash it in today's video but next time I do laundry and film I definitely need to make sure that I wash their bedding and their comforter. I'm going to try to do their comforter every two weeks and then I'm going to do their bedding once a week. I'm going to try to stay on that routine for myself. I don't need nobody else but me but I'm thinking about the way you the way you make me grounded thinking about the way you Kehlani loves all her dinosaurs on the bed and then Ke Kinsley just likes her bear and her squishmallow and there is all of the stuff that I left behind under Kehlani's bed. You're gonna see her in a second come and help me. From the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others. A cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning, kept it up right till the morning. A new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah. Like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. I wanted to go ahead and look at the weather so I would know what was coming ahead of the week so I would know what clothes to pick out for the girls but we have still been wearing big jackets so I won't pick out their big jackets but nine times out of ten they will wear them in the morning because here in Georgia it is cooler in the morning around 30s or 40s and then by the afternoon time sometimes it's around the 50s 60s or sometimes we get lucky recently and we've been seeing the 70s 
I'm so ready for warmer weather. Not warm weather, but warmer. Because, y'all, it gets so hot here in Georgia. Oh, my goodness. So, spring is coming. So, that's, like, the perfect temperature for me. With you, there are no stop signs. Counting down till we take flight. It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah Everything all picked out. Their five outfits for the week and their book bags are all ready. I'm going to go in with my Downy Unstoppable just to give the room a good smell. Me, like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah, e -e 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 -e. It's time for us to go ahead and tackle this laundry. I had recently washed the bathroom rugs, so I'm going ahead and moving those because they were just drying. And then there was a few towels that were f sitting in the washing machine. So I'm just going to take them out because I'm not going to wash those yet. And I'm just organizing some stuff that was sitting on top of the washing machine so that we could go ahead and get started on washing our clothes. I'm just showing you guys some products that we're using today. I'm going to be using some of my OxyClean and then I had some of this Downy and some Gain. I had recently did some couponing at the Dollar General. That's why you see so many laundry products up there. I had got a really good deal. Three laundry products for only $13. You have got to check out their digital coupons, you guys. It is so easy to use. All you have to do is plug in your phone number when you go to the store. I definitely have to show you guys a tutorial of me doing it because it felt so good seeing that total just drop. Kehlani never fails to get something on her hoodie. So I'm using some of this Shout Triple Action to try to lift the stain. We're starting out with the girls clothes of course I like to go ahead and just make sure their clothes are washed and ready for the week in case they need any tank tops any socks whatever they might need but I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the right side out and then just throw them in the washing machine I needed to change out my wax warmer scent so I'm just going to be using I believe it was the paradise one it smells so good you guys I used to have two in the house but I broke one but I love these so much I've been using my wax warmer more than I've been lighting any candles you'll find a different side of me the one I like to be a different side of me yeah Moving on to the second most messiest area that was in the house. The girls room was definitely top number one and here was number two. I had some dishes to put away before I could even go ahead and clean out the refrigerator and load the dishwasher. I literally cleaned up a mess just to go ahead and make a bigger mess because there was tons of pots and pans in the fridge. We are really trying to work on eating leftovers but I'm just not a leftover type of person. Khalif which is my boyfriend he will but the girls pick and choose when they like to eat leftovers. They love eating spaghetti as leftovers though but I was making sure my video was ready because I love watching a cleaning video while I'm tackling a task around the house. I feel like I'm cleaning with a friend and I hope you feel like that today. I hope I can help motivate you 
to get something done around your house, whether you have some cleaning to do, some laundry to do, or you just need to get something done that's been on your to-do list, let me know in the comments what you guys are doing today while you are watching. I love filming these videos, you guys, because it really just helps motivate me to get things done, and I know I motivate you guys to tackle what you need to get done too. Cleaning videos are my favorite to post, and you already know I love to post my laundry videos too. This I really needed to be done. I had put this on the back burner all week. I kept telling myself okay I'm gonna go ahead and film today so I can clean out the refrigerator sometimes that is the most annoying thing ever about being a content creator sometimes you feel like you just have to record everything but you just have to plan it out and decide what you're gonna film and what you're not gonna film because it's gonna have to get done regardless Now we have dirty dishes again. So I'm gonna go ahead and load the dishwasher with the dishes that I wanna put in there and then hand wash my containers like these. Do put my crock pot in the dishwasher. Once I wash it out a little bit, I'll just throw it in there and let the dishwasher do its job. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the fridge really quickly. It looks so bare now, but this has been something I've definitely put on the back burner, but it feels so good now that it's done and I can see things in the fridge that I need, like yes. Today was not the day to go ahead and take all the condiments out the door of the fridge. So I'm just going to make sure I wipe around. Next time we clean out the fridge, I'll make sure to hit that part of the refrigerator. Can we start over? Don't want nobody but you. No matter what we go through. Keeping it between us two, me and you. Survive the distance Don't know what we're missing But there is a space between us Now that our fridge is wiped down, I'm going to go ahead and just start adding everything back in the fridge and putting it on nice and pretty and organized. I know healing ain't in Lifetimes are going light years away More it will grow the more we delay I'm just hoping it isn't too late What can I do? Sorry if it's a little cliche I know we're supposed to live in a gray Leave it to chance or leave it to fate But I'm missing you Pull me in closer now that our sink was filled up with all of those pots and pans and containers from the refrigerator, I'm going to go ahead and load the dishwasher with what will go in the dishwasher and then I'm going to hand wash the rest of the dishes. Over. Don't want nobody but you nobody but Keeping you. it between us two us No matter two. what we go through I stay true But can we survive the distance? Don't know I've been adding just a little bit of Clorox to the dishwasher. Let me know you guys. How do you feel about that? Do you do that? Um, I just feel like the pod is not enough and it just needs a little extra oomph to get it going and get it clean. Khalif had just took the trash out so I'm gonna go ahead and use my Clorox spray to clean it and get it all smelling good and I did end up using a little bit of Mr. Clean on my microfiber cloth. I hear them All of our dishes was in the dishwasher and they just needed to be ran to get cleaned 
and then all of our hand wash dishes were in the drying rack so now I'm going to use some of my Mr. Clean to clean my sink out and you can just see how shiny it leaves the sink you guys love it and of course it smells so good Obvious, please don't spill your mind when you don't have a clue hey okay Lonnie was about to get her hair done by her grandma so I had to go ahead and take out her braids and then I was going to go ahead and give her a bath so I could wash her hair so her hair would be all ready for her grandma to braid it again for the upcoming week since she was out of school for a week and then she was going back on the following Monday. Well, the next Monday after filming this video. One thing about laundry you guys you can always just throw a load in the washing machine go tackle another task and then by the time you're done that task it will be done at the washer so you can transfer it over to the dryer so it's always a task that takes all day sometimes but at least you're able to get other things done while one load is washing or drying <laughs> This is the weekly laundry from the girls and this was about two I usually do two or three loads a week for them like I stated before you guys I feel once they wear their clothes at school it's automatically dirty I mean come on now Kaylani's in preschool she's doing tons of arts and crafts all day long playing outside and just tons of germs so that's just how I feel <laughs> have been loving these snuggle pods my girl Dana had them in her video and I was like I need to pick some of these up I've been loving the scent beads but there's something about, something about that snuggle I love the smell that it leaves on the clothes I don't know what that was that I was trying to show you guys <laughs> I want you guys to comment down below do you guys like when I add the cleaning motivation with the laundry motivation or do you like when I just add the laundry motivation in a separate video by itself I know some people aren't here for everything else but one thing about it you guys is I do like to make a variety of content on my family on my channel my family my channel and the get it all done videos it's just what works for me and it helps me tackle these tasks you guys because it really makes me feel like i'm cleaning with you guys and like i said helping you to get motivated to get up and clean they don't get it babe living in a cruel world it's a rare thing to do just what we do love hold your head high and do it by your own terms they don't get it, babe, no They don't get it, babe Be broken down, but I'm smiling. 
I keep my head up high though I fail Sometimes I get a bit emotional But then I turn around and let it go I see you watching me from a distance I see you can't decide what to feel But if you dig a little deeper, boy You know you really wanna get to know I'm going to go ahead and get these towels folded so I can go ahead and put them away. I did get rid of my over the toilet storage which is where I used to keep my towels at. So now we just keep the clean towels in a laundry basket in the laundry room. It's just what works for us right now. I just have no other space in the bathroom to put them. I just want to play. If you are looking for one hell of a ride just come and get it. Baby I'm on your Don't get discouraged you guys. I did get a lot done in this video but it was literally from morning time to night time and I did split it up throughout the day. And if you get a little broken down, I bet you gotta do is keep your head high. You just have to do what works for you and what time works for you because yes we do have busy schedules and this was a Saturday so I had off this day. This was a day I was able to get this all done which helped me the next day because I wouldn't have anything to do if I tackled it all in one day. That was my logic with thinking about this but I don't like to overwhelm myself. I get very anxious when I do have a lot to do. I make to-do lists in my phone and I help which helps me stay motivated and stay on track and I like to see progress so that's one reason why sometimes I will start out with the messiest area so I can get motivated to keep going and clean the rest of the house. So this was after all of the girls clothes had got done washing. I went ahead and folded them and then put them away where they were supposed to be. So they would be ready for the next week when it was time to pick out some more clothes for the girlies. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to vacuuming. I'm almost done cleaning. Almost to the finish line. Come and get it. Come and get it. Come and get it. I usually always say vacuuming for my last thing of course because I want the floor all cleaned and nothing on the floor so I can just go ahead and zoom zoom and vacuum everywhere. The bathroom just really needed to be wiped down really quickly some surface cleaning then I did end up wiping the mirrors down with some of this spray Windex. I don't, I don't think it's called Windex, but that's what I'm going to call it. I got it from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't work the best, but I would like to try some of this spray away from Walmart. So when I run out of the Windex that I have and that spray Windex, I'm going to pick some of that up from Walmart. And while I was cleaning the top of the toilet with a disinfectant wipe, I just went ahead and put some toilet bowl cleaner in the toilet so it can sit while I clean the top of the toilet and clean around the toilet seat. And then I'm going to use one of my Clorox wands to clean the toilet. I love these so much. Yes, it already has cleaner in each of the little scrubbies but I do like to also add some Lysol just to give it that extra clean and if I would have had some of those click Lysol toilet cleaners I would have put one of those on but I didn't and then I had some organizing and restocking to get done because I had just picked up that stuff 
from Walmart. So I went ahead and restocked that. And I've been loving the container that I have on top of the toilet. Let me know what you guys think. I got it from Walmart for $11.88. Like I said, I had to get rid of that over the toilet storage. It was just driving me crazy and I just wanted to get rid of it. It makes the bathroom feel so much more fresh, more brighter, and just less cluttered. So I've been loving it. What I used on the floor was some of the Pine Globe Lemon from Walmart. Not from Walmart, you guys. I'm lying. From the Dollar Tree. And y'all, when I tell you I'm not a huge fan of it, I'm only using it because I have it currently. It does not do a good job. And after doing this mopping, I really realized it. First off, it wasn't even like soapy. It just literally looked like water. So definitely don't recommend. Won't be using that anymore. We are finished, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel so much. And I love talking with you guys in the comments. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.